What is the most important financial statement that you, as the business owner, should be reviewing every week and every month? In this video, I'm gonna share with you my template that you can use in your business that you should be looking at every week and every month to maximize your money in your business. My name is Nate Jones, I make a video and I post one every single day at 1.15 p.m. about how to maximize your business, how to start certain businesses, and how to buy businesses and get to the next level in your entrepreneurship journey. And uh, so many business owners, they don't look at their numbers. They have no clue if they're actually doing well or if they're doing poorly. It is so important that you review your numbers every week, every month, so you can understand exactly where you're at in your business. So you know if you have opportunities to invest more in other areas, if you're doing really well, where do you need to cut your costs? I'm gonna show you my template that I use every single month right now. All right, hello everybody. I'm gonna go through my template that I look at every single month. Uh, me and my business partners and the businesses that I own, I go through this cash flow statement in Excel I also do one for my personal expenses, very similar, you're just taking whatever you're making and putting in your personal expenses. But let me go through this. What this is is a cash flow analysis, the cash flow template, okay? This allows us, uh, the businesses that I own, and I put dummy numbers in here, this isn't affiliated with any businesses that I've owned, I put in different numbers um, and I do not share my private information, but I am sharing you what I do from a concept perspective, okay? So no matter how many businesses you have, even if it's one, what you're gonna do is every single month, you're gonna put in the revenue, okay? And you're gonna have your total revenue, and then every month, and this is real easy to do, you're gonna pull your bank statements. Your bank statement should show money that came into your bank and money that left. And you're not gonna necessarily pull your credit card statements because if you're paying off your card, you're gonna see that expense come out of your bank statement, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull our bank statement, we're gonna look at our total revenue that came in, our total expenses that month, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna find our net income here, our cash flow. The importance of doing this is knowing, hey, what is going on? Where are our expenses? Because at the beginning of the year, just like I'm doing down here for 2024, I'm going to budget what I believe my expenses are for this first business, what I think they should be based on last year's, based on things that I know that we have to buy, um, just expenses that we have. Same thing with this business. I know what our expenses are going to be because of what they were last year. I'm going to try to keep them level. If they were good, if there were some expenses I need to tear out, then yes, you're going to bring it down a little bit. But this allows you to every month, anything that's gray, since I'm in November right now when I'm talking, so anything that's gray is in December because December hasn't ended yet. So these are my projections for December. So when December's done, I'm gonna put in my actual numbers here, and then when I see that the revenue doesn't meet up, or maybe the revenue exceeds it, or maybe the expenses exceed or they're lower, I know now if I'm doing a great job or if I'm doing a bad job. Okay, this is also known as a pro forma financial. What I'm doing here is I'm projecting 12 months into the future where we're gonna be as a company, right? Up here we had a total revenue with all the companies at 423,000. I wanna increase that to 523. Okay, so I, I bumped these numbers up. Our expenses remain flat because there's nothing we could really tear out. If not, expenses may increase. So our net income's gonna go up too, right? But not as much as the revenue because our expenses are gonna go up. So what this allows you to do is, it allows you to sit down every month and you should be cash flowing your expenses every single month if you can. There's some unique businesses out there that all their revenue hits at one point. Yeah, it's a little bit different. You can always um, you know, divide that revenue amongst 12 months. Um, disperse it, there's a lot of different things that you can do, but for the most part, most businesses should be cash flowing your expenses every single month. So when you're seeing this net income here, what this does is it, it forces you to start thinking of ways in which you want to increase it. Okay, man, uh, you know, I, we didn't have a great month here in November. What can we do to, we had a lot of expenses. What happened here? What did we have to buy? Because we had a good, somewhat good number here, 29,000 on both businesses, but what happened in business number two? 21,000 in expenses, what happened there? What do we need to do to make sure that that doesn't happen? Was there something we had to pay that we didn't know about? Was it, you know, you know what is going on there? So it allows you to look at your numbers so you can know, hey, 
Things are going really well. We made $28,000 um, in, in profit, so now we can start to put that back for further investments on pushing these businesses forward. And it allows us to know, hey, if I want to hire somebody at $4,000 a month, we're it, can we afford that? Can we afford that based on our numbers last year? Are we hiring somebody on the assumption that these numbers are going to increase? Because if that's the case, you don't want to hire somebody on the assumption. You want to hire somebody that you can afford. So for the most part, we can afford to hire somebody for four grand. Some of these months, we may not cash flow as much. But from the aggregate standpoint, if you hire somebody for 40 k you're not going to net as much. But hopefully, it'll increase the revenue over here as our plan so you can take out another 40 here in salaries but what you could do is you could break out the expenses you break it out salaries general expenses what you what you need to do and quickbooks does this as well if you have quickbooks i use quickbooks for my businesses um really great um tool but and i'm not affiliated with them whatsoever but I really like what they have. They do this, but there's something different about you putting it in yourself. And I know I'm acting a little old school here in Excel, but you know, putting it in yourself is something that's really cool because you're able to track it. I also have a tab for net worth. So every month I'm tracking my investments. Where am I at on everything? I'm not going to show you that, but um, you can track these things. And it's important to track it because if you don't track it, you're not going to know where you're at. And if you don't know where you're at, then you're you have no idea if you have enough money to invest in. This is what, you know, every month, my wife and I, we sit down and we look at this and then we also have another one for our personal expenses. And we go through those two things and we evaluate them and we make sure that, number one, we are cash flowing every single month. From our business all the way over to our personal expenses, we carry this number over and how much did we pay ourselves? How much was reinvested back in? Okay, how much did we pay ourselves? How many expenses did we have? And we we go all the way down to how much did we personally save? Because if we didn't personally save anything, then we lost money. Why are we losing money? Where's that money going? Are we reinvesting it back in? We should be tracking that. Where is our money? Because if we don't know where our money is, then it's not going to be our money for very long, okay? So this is just about staying organized. It's a very simple template. You can steal it. Uh, you can message me on YouTube in my bio. There's a contact form in my bio. Go ahead and message me if you want this template. I'll be happy to email it over to you. And you can use it as your own and take full advantage of what I've built. Um, it's really worked for me. Or you can create your own. It's very easy to create in Excel. But if you want the easy version and you want me to just send this over, I can send it over for you and be happy to share my thoughts. But um, again, my name is Nate Jones. I post a video every day about business, how to start businesses, how to grow businesses, how to buy businesses. So if you like that type of content, hit like and subscribe.